Hi, I'm Brennan from Waffles Community Robotics, and in this video we're looking at the range block, the text block, and the random block. So first, the range block. And to illustrate this, we're going to pull out a color sensor and put it on reflected light intensity mode so it'll have a range from 0 to 100. So the way that the range block is, uh, it has a test value. So that's what you're looking for, uh, what value you're comparing to your range. So that's where we're going to put our uh, light sensor information into. And you see that right now it's on inside mode. So that means whatever, if the value of the color sensor is on the inside of this range, so from 25 to 75, then it'll output a true statement. So it'll be true. If it's on the outside, then it'll be false. Now, if you change it to outside mode, then what you're looking for is for it to be outside of this range. So less than 25 and greater than 75. So that means if it's uh, 24, you'll output true, but if it's 25, you'll output false. And that's kind of the range block. Now, if we pull out the text block, so the text block is meant for combining different um, text inputs and making them one output. And what we can do is we'll put this here and we'll change it to text mode and what we'll do activate it so that it can be having a wire input we'll output the sum of this and put it on the screen and what we can do alright so we'll say current value so you can have presets so you can have current value um, and we'll get the current value of a sensor once again reflected intensity and I'll plug it in here and you can I don't know put a percentage or something there so when this goes through here, what you'll end up seeing is current value is whatever, and then you'd have your whatever input you have or whatever output you have for the color sensor. So let's just say it's 50, and then you'd have percent. That's what would be showing up on the screen. Now, of course, you can have multiple um, inputs. So, um, say you were doing a clock, you can add your colon there. And if we have an output say number one is your hours and number two is your seconds so number one and number two so you see number one is a and so we'll say hours and then your divider for your hours and your, your uh, minutes and then you'll have your minutes displayed here so as a result, the current time is 5.54. Oops. 5.54. So that's what would display out right now if you had your variable set to the correct time. And that's the text merge block. That's the only option. You're just merging um, different text into one. So now the random block. And for this, we'll have an, uh, so it'll output the result. So we'll put that into the variable called variable. And there's two different modes. There's numeric and logic mode. So first we'll do numerical mode. Basically what it is is similar to your range. 
So you want to have you want to input your range of possible numbers. So right now it's set from one to ten. So that's like rolling a dice that has ten sides and has a, a number from one to ten. And then basically whatever the resultant is, you'll input it into your variable called variable. Now you can change them. You can have negative numbers, so you can have negative ten to ten, or you can have another variable show you can have another variable input and have your upper and lower range dictated by that the other thing that it does is logic outputs so if we write a logic and put it in there what this is is a percentage of how likely it's going to be true. So right now it's 50-50. So if you change it to 20% likely to be true, then it's going to be 80% likely to be false. So um, picture a dice, and there are 100 different sides. What will happen is you're saying how many sides are true. So if you have 99 of the, si 99 of the 100 sides of the dice say true, then 99% of the time it's going to be outputting true and 1% will be false. So you can change that to whatever. Uh, it's a range from 0 or uh, zero to 100 obviously. Though having, the, having it set to 0 or having it set to 100 is not particularly useful because you know what the resultant will be. So yeah, that's the random block. All of these blocks, um, once again, there's no real specific um, use for them. It really depends on your program and what you want to do with them. But they're pretty cool and you can do some neat things with them uh, depending on what your uses are really. Um, we have used the text block. We haven't used the range block or the random block but I'm sure many other teams have used them or things similar to them uh, in past years. So yep, that's it for this video. And uh, next video we'll probably do uh, um, putting all these together and do something cool. And then after that we'll look at my blogs.